Yo guys, welcome back to the PBMP podcast. It's a different setup like before, but you know, we, d- we deal with what we've got. Obviously, I'm here today and he's here today. I'll oh, find tea, that's all I get now. Just tea. Well, Waddle's here with Hi. us. Hi. <laughs> so, well, that's the original setup. Back again. So, um, yeah, so we're literally just going to like, it's just going to be an unstructured chat. Um, yeah, it's just because there's nothing really going on at the moment. No, not much going on. Just, yeah, lockdown 2.0 has hit us. And it's shit. It's, sh- it's shit, but I feel like it's going to be over in a few weeks. Not, not COVID. COVID. Not COVID, but I think the uh, it's going to be back to regional again. And because they found the vaccine, and there's. I just, I just feel like. like the, well, there's breaking news today, apparently. Some Americans have done it as well, and it's 95% effective, so. I don't know. I, I feel like I don't know the rumours about it just going back to regional, but I, I just think they'll they'll try and string it on till Christmas and then drop it at Christmas. I don't know. I don't know because Boris Johnson said when he did do it that it will definitely 100% go back to regional because I think his his party was against it anyway going into lockdown. So I don't. I I, I, I don't know, but. Hopefully it'll be over on the 4th of December and people can start doing things again. I don't know how it is in different countries. I don't know. I, f- I don't Wait, know. I it's second. I've got an haircut, but third. I've got a haircut. Mine's already growing back. But yeah, it's... It, as if it, like, it went like live on my birthday, so... Or the day after my birthday, I can't remember. Fun time. That day was the other fun. So, so it is a bit shit. So we're just going to go into like little bits of topics of what we've both been doing, really. In home workouts, how about that to start? That's an interesting one. I've been enjoying mine, to be honest. I've been, I've been really enjoying. It. I've switched it up this time because, like, last time I spent the the first four months. Was it four months we were in lockdown? Not much. April, May, but the first month and a half, two months, having to work out with resi- running and resistant bands and. It was just a bit shite. Where now I've got weights, I've got things I can do. Um, the weather's a bit shitter, but I've got actual equipment now. You see, that the, that's the problem for me. Like I've got my I've got my bench and stuff, but I've nowhere to put it because it's just raining all the time or it's cold. Like I'd happily work out in like in the cold if I could put like a gazebo thing up, but we can't really put that up because obviously it's, it is getting to like winter now, so there's no point. So I'm having to like, like I brought my dumbbell up. I mean, like I've made my makeshift dumbbell. Um, I can only have one because the other one's a bit rustic. It's been in shed. And then I've got my barbell with like some weights. So it's actually alright. I can do like, I can do like overhead press and stuff. And I made like a make, makeshift bench on my bed. I put four pillars on top of each other, led back and tried to do bench press. And it were a bit, uh, it were a bit bouncy. Let's say yeah, it, it weren't good. But apart from that, it's actually alright. I mean, I don't mind it. if, as long as the gyms open back up when they are meant to be. I've it's been okay because I've, I mean, the workouts have been a bit like not to the point of where I'm like getting full amount of effort, but they've been okay. I mean, they've not, they've not been like terrible. I've been hitting like push pull legs twice a week, and it's 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 been t- t- ticking me over until the gyms come back. And I get like the first time around there was a lot of like mental drain until like do workouts but I don't know I think it's like re- re- refreshing the palate you've been to the gym for like four months now you have to do it in your garden it's shitter but I don't know I'm I'm, I'm up for it it's, I feel like it's just more annoying it's just like like before obviously lockdown were a new thing so we're real annoyed anyway like threw everyone off but now it's like we've all, we've all got back on track we've all got, we're all hitting PBs and stuff and we're getting to like where we want to be again and then it's just took it away to like we're going to lose that strength. Like, me and you both hit PBs on deadlifts. I hit PBs on chest and all sorts. And now it's, like, just puff, gone. As soon as we go back, I won't be anywhere near that, I don't think. I think I'll be, I'll no, be, well, be, I'll be close, but not, not where I work. I don't think it'll be, I don't think it'll be as bad, though, because, like, we'd have only been out of the gym for a month, and, and it would only, only take, like, a week or two to get back to where you were, in my personal opinion. Because yeah, it's muscle okay. memory and that. It, it, it only took me a good three... Last time we were out for like four or five months, it only took me like two or three weeks to get back up to scratch. I mean, it's just... Once your body's been through that emotion and and that 
tension. It doesn't take that long to to get back to where you were. It's just a bit, it's just a bit of a grind to get back to where you were. Cause like, I think when it last days we're hitting like 150 kg kilo, one 150 kg deadlift. So I won't be hitting that when we get back. Probably like 120. But it's just get working your way back. And I think if you've got the mental strength to like just consistently carry on going, you'll be fine. It's just um, keep yourself ticked over while you can't go. And that's all what I've been doing. Yeah. Well, hopefully my uh, my rope group gets here by then. Well, have you ordered it? I ordered it. I've ordered it for like three weeks ago. And I, I checked last night. Oh. It was supposed to be delivered on Friday. I checked and it said, if it's not here by the 18th, then contact us. Contact us. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> I thought it's a good, good job we're not in. Uh, gyms aren't open. Because I can't use it anyway. I thought I also took this lockdown time to like work on some weaknesses. So like last time I worked on my shoulders and I think they developed a bit during lockdown. And I've been trying to like work on my abs a bit more this time round. I know you get abs through like calorie deficit and stuff, but I feel like my um, abdominal, my ab my abdominal muscle development isn't that great as it is because I don't train enough. Because I I feel like when I when I when I go I've got abs next, I just say now nah, I'll do it tomorrow just because it's like it's not like essential to do, but. It is, like, I've just been doing leg raises like on the shed like every day, just like trying to do like three sets of ten to twelve leg raises, and just carrying doing that consistently, and just work on different bits. And I also started TikTok, and yeah, and I, and I try and post on there when I can. You need, you need to stop when you when you make them because I saw you post like two or three in one day. It's like post one, make two more, save them for another day. No, 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 big tick, like, not big TikTok, but people who build the TikTok up, they'll post, like, three videos a day. Yeah, but they got good ideas. It's like, as soon as you run out of ideas... My, oh. my body transformation one banged, you know. It got, like, 3,000 views. To be fair, I remember when you showed me that, then, two pictures or whatever before, like, it's fucking mad. You look so, you look ill on the first one. I look gaunt, I, I look, looks really gaunt in the face. Yeah, you do. You look, like, really pale and unhealthy, like... And that was that, that a year ago, just over a year ago. That was when I went to Turkey um, last year, and I just back come yeah, back. Summer, summer last year. Yeah, and it, and it was it was it was the first time in that like, picture I'd seen how big I, like not big I'm look, look at myself on the viewfinder now, and I'm not pumped at all, so I look really thin. But like uh, it, it just shows like it showed how like big I, I sort of got for my height. So it's it's progress. You don't always see it, but it's there. And yeah. I know what you mean. Well, I said to you before lockdown, like, I tried, cause I, I weighed myself before, uh, before, well, the last day of lockdown on your, on your birthday, we went, and I'd put out, because my lowest I got to, I got to 20 stone, but now I've gone up, to, I've got to 22 now, and it's like, when we come out of lockdown, I'd put on, like, a stone anyway, but I think, the thing is, a lot of it is, I know, because I know I'm eating right, and a lot of it is, like, I've put on a lot of, a lot of muscle, like, because I've got, a, I have got a lot stronger than I were. I know it's not all muscle, um, but still, I, wa I want to just, like, it's a, it's a hard one because I want to, like, not look at the scales, but I have to. I've always looked at the scales. So I think if I look at where I'm, like, I don't know how to put it, like, performance and stuff, like, how much I'm lifting, I, I think that should be, like, a uh, a way of, like, like, my progress on that should not should throw me off looking at that anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, people are in different situations, so like for you, you, you might need to look at the scales or want to look at the scales. And for me, I just refuse to because I know my in my mind, if I see myself getting heavier, I'll stop doing what I'm meant to be doing. So I refuse to look at the scales and just do it through, vi through my own vision in terms of like, if I can see myself losing weight or gaining weight when I need to, I'll carry on. Whereas it's, it's, if I look at my weight, like in terms of like numbers and scales, I know I'll like say, if I'm like maybe a stone heavier than I was, but I don't look it because it's just muscle. I'll try and lose that because in my head it's like, oh, you've got bigger and fatter. So I try not to like look at the scales too much. So it is, it is different. It is different mindsets, I suppose. And like, like I said, it's like I've always, like me, put like going up that. It always it, in my mind, it's like you're failing. If you really you're going back, you're going backwards. But I shouldn't look at it like that because I've like like the only cardio I've been doing really, like realistically, apart from walking, because I've been doing a lot of walking. Uh, apart from that, was playing football doing that, trying to do it at least two times a week. And it, obviously, football is high intensity and stuff, and we play it on Mondays, and if, even if we go in, like, have a, have a five-a-side or whatever, you know, when all his mates do it, that it's still high-intensity stuff, like, I'm still running around the entire time. Um, but apart from that, there's no real, like, cardio in my in my week, apart from them two. 
Um, and it's all been like weight training. So I can't, in my mind, I should say to myself, I, I, you're going to put on weight at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. Because so, that's what I've been training to do. So and I, I've been happy with my progress, to be fair. I know you, like you progress really well towards the back end of uh, just before lockdown. Like you were in 38s, weren't you, on a dumbbell press um, and stuff? And I'd got, I'm, I'm I'd not, got to 32. Yeah. So, you know, it's like it, we've, we've both progressed quite well over the last few months, I'd say. Yeah, I agree. I mean, in terms of cardio, like, I've been doing running a bit, but I haven't been to the extent as I was last time, because if you look back on my videos, I think it's on one of my first videos, I, like, got really... I'm not thin, but I got I lost quite a bit of weight um, beginning the lockdown, last lockdown. So it was like... I was, I was running, like, five miles a day, like, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's good for the mind, but... For me, I was losing too much weight, so I stopped before I lost any more. And now I'm doing like f three runs a week rather than like every single day, and um, not running as far. So I'll run from my from my house up to up through that pathway, up near the reservoir, but not all the way around. In terms, I'll just run to the reservoir and run back, and that's 5k itself. So I'll just do that rather than running five miles. It's it's more of a cardio session, less of like a don't know like a long distance run. I feel like. I'm not built for a long distance run to be honest, but not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. No, I, I, I can like before I could run up there, have a stop, have, have a breath before I got to the re reservoir, run all the way around, run back. Where now, I'm like running up there, stopping like three or four times, and having to go again and back. It's just so know, hard. But, but, but when we when we went for that walk around, like I walked from my house to yours, which to be fair is what's that? Three, four, more than that. Maybe, maybe, yeah. A bit more than that. Uh, and then we walked from yours to the reservoir, which, what did you say, is another... How, how, how far is that? Uh, from, uh, from, from my house to the, to the actual reservoir, it's about two miles. And then round it? Um, that's another two miles around it. Right, so there you go, so two. And then from, then from yours to reservoirs, two. So four, that's back. From so mine, fr from mine, round the reservoir and back is five mile. Right. Five mile there, and from mine to yours and back, I've done like over what, twelve mile. Yeah, walking. I was absolutely fucked. Put it like that. I'm gonna message <laughs> you when I got home. Right, I, I got home. I managed to find a bit of because I was I really skin, and I found a bit of change in my pocket. I managed to buy a drink from the shop out like near to, and I was absolutely fucked. And down that, I walked home. By the time I'd got home, I just flipped my shoes off. My, my feet were killing me. And I just let them <laughs> like, wet phones, like, where have you been? I said, look, I should just put sure of my steps on my phone. I'd done, like, 25,000 steps. You were like, <laughs> If you guys are wondering... Th so sorry, sorry. If you guys are wondering, the quality has got better because I've been... Well, I got a ring light and it just looks better in terms of, like, visually. Yeah, so I, I did have a lot of com complaints off people who watch your videos saying sometimes the lighting's a bit shoddy. So... Rather than having to rely on my natural light or my light in my room, I've got a ring light, and as you can see, you can see all three dimensions of this wonderful face. I just think what you need to do now is get a table to, to your left near your door. Get a table there so you can put the ring light behind and your camera in front. Have you seen how small my room is? Fuck that. Yes, but you've got. I know you've got enough room there. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yeah, put a table against the back wall, put the ring light behind, put the camera in front. No, I haven't. I'll, I'll tell him to do it, I'll show him, because he's, he's useless. Okay, okay. Anyway, so, so, go on, well, should we talk about football? I mean, we I mean we can do, but we always talk about football. But, go on, we can do. Oh, well, I might as well. Okay. Should we talk about England or clubs? We can start with England and then go on to clubs, if you want. How shit England are. I don't care. I don't, I don't, how weird it sounds, I don't support England at all. Hey. Every United fan doesn't support England, just, just with like past right. experiences. Just flash back to like the 2018 World Cup. Yeah, that was different. That was. Every I mean, goal that went in, you went mental. I mean, like, I don't patriotically support England in terms of like some people. I wouldn't religiously really watch a game, unless we're in a major tournament or something, but like, I wouldn't oh, yeah, really. I wouldn't have. But I'm, I, still, I'm still, I, you know, wanting to win. I mean, I, I'm not asked about the. I'm not asked about these little friendlies and this friendly competition. That's not a friendly competition. It's. I'm not asked to be honest. Like, 
I just want competitive football to come back. I don't care. So it's competitive Nations League. Yeah, it doesn't excite me. It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't excite me at all. Uh, I find uh, it I so shit. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I would say. I would say I want uh, club football to come back. But at the end of the day, my club's already relegated, so might as well not bother. That's not true. That's not true. We're so we're well, you're not. Yeah, we are. I mean, do you not remember a few seasons ago when you didn't get a point after Christmas and you survived? We did. It, we got a few points, but I know what you mean. It's still it a long season. That were, that's because Dwight McNeil coming to the start at January and we ditched uh, and Tom Eaton come back and ditched Joe Hart. <laughs> and we were in Europa League at that point. It, it's it's a long season. I think I think you'll be fine to be honest. I think teams are going to drop off and I think. You might push on. There's no way you're going to go like this throughout the whole of the year. We just we're losing players left, right, centre. So on Liverpool. We've got no consistent, consistent, consistent starting eleven. Like a bit like Liverpool, we were going to play James Milner at all four centre, all four defensive spots in centre mid. <laughs> it's funny that because like the past two or three years they've had literally no injuries at all, and this year they've all come at once, and everyone's like, "Oh, pray for Liverpool." Pray for Liverpool. I mean, if it, if this Raston Villa, like, would anyone give a fuck? They wouldn't. It's just because it's Liverpool. Everyone cares. I mean, last yeah, season last we had... Season we had Palace last year. Palace happened to us last year. Beginning of the season, we lost Martial Rashford. We lost Pogba throughout the start, like, more of the season. And everyone were calling for Oli Zeb because we couldn't get a result against Newcastle when we are playing Andreas Pereira up front. But, like, a Gala and stuff like that. I mean, it happens in fucking football. You need to deal with it, these scouse twats, no offence. But, here's what it is. Here's what it is. <laughs> no, they're, they're, no, they're, 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 they're so in, <laughs> They're actually so entitled. Not, you can't say that as a United fan. Well, I can. We've been shit for like eight years now. I've, I've come to it. Your fans still feel entitled. Well, we are. We are. Harry Maguire said the other week, when you play for the biggest club in the world, you're going to get fucking talked about like we do. Like the Mason Greenwood situation. Liverpool well. Nah, Liverpool like third. Or, I think we only did a second. They're still up there, you know what I mean? Yeah, but they don't get the shit, Liverpool. They get the fucking praise. And when, and when, when we were good, we got shit all the time. I like it, me. I do like it. Like Liverpool fans, every time they get a bit of criticism, they're like, "Oh, but we're top of the league. You shouldn't talk about us like that." But like, when, when, I like being hated. No, but when they were, I I, I, I like being hated. I like it. It just means like people are jealous. Just people yeah, it's not that. It's like when, when we had Rooney, Ronaldo, and Tevez and all that. People used to fucking hate us. Well, they still do hate us. People used to fucking. I used to fucking love it. I used to love it. But like. Like now, like it still, it still happens with the Mason Greenwood situation. It's like they're proper on him all the time. Like they were saying he was late for training, but they're outside the training ground all the time and see him go in when he's not late. Saying that like he's been shit, but his best mate has just killed himself and he's 19. So obviously he's going to be, a, be a bit. Yeah, when he scored, he scored against Leipzig. You were like praying to him when he scored and like. Yeah, they were saying he's been a bit. His attitude's been a bit shit because he hasn't been putting 100 in training. And like his mate's just killed himself. What do you expect? You know what I mean? I mean, you won't be the same, would you? If he were white and played for City, they won't give a fuck. That's oh, just that's just. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they've been on him since the Icelandic thing, and Phil forden has been fucking getting whacked off by the sun. So. Yeah, but it is the sun. What do you expect? Yeah, but it's just because Mason who was black, and it is what it is. It's they are racist. It's you like Raheem Sterling two point oh. I so, saw uh, it was like uh, it said Phil Ford and buying it. It's like oh, this young 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 Phil, player Phil Ford and bought uh, two million pound dollars for his mum or something like that. And then Rashford posted a uh, thing about it on Twitter yesterday because they just they just slated him for buying investing in five houses like they said luxurious mansions and stuff. It's like no, he, he said if if, if but get this right or something like that. Get this right. I've invested in my future and my family's future too. Like that's all I'm doing. So stop like you know trying to. Make people believe I'm just buying houses for the sake of it. I mean, he's 23. He's, he's 23. He's probably had a shit upbringing. When you've got all that money and you want to like financially like secure your family, you'd do it. You know what I mean? Definitely, I would. Probably. I mean, if, I mean, he's like he's like in the top one percent in terms of wealth and financial like get like gain. He's he's he's, he's, he's in his own right to do it. You know what I mean? He can do what he wants, and I, I, like I said, I do I do exactly the same for him. situation. 
we should do that. We should invest in your future. It's a smart I mean, thing to do, isn't it? I mean, like, they're going to jump on him at any point now just because of what he's doing with his campaign and stuff because I think people see him as a bit too perfect and like everyone wants someone to be wrong with him just to create a story and just to get him down. Like, you know the Tories are like... I think, the, I think there was, there was a rumour going around that the Tories, got, the Tories got a memo saying they had to like, attack him on Twitter and like, just a bit shit. Just a bit shit. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? He's, he's doing good and you're just trying to like, bring him back down. It's like, what's the point in doing that? He's not helping anyone. I know, I know. Just a bit shit. Yeah. Anyway, what else do you want to talk about? I don't know. I've been trying out new different new supplements. Like, I I had I've bought recently some new pre workout. Um, what's, it, what's it called? That ghost thing. Ghost. It was very expensive. Like, I thought I'd treat myself. It's very expensive, but it's probably the best pre workout I've had in terms of like it's not powdery. It actually tastes like juice. So, it's um, pink lemonade and it's fucking wild good. Like, it's, there's no powder. No there, there's no bitterness to it. It's sour pink lemonade. You just shot. I just shot it usually and <clears throat> just go. But it's it's like really high in caffeine. Like incredibly high in caffeine. Perfect for you though. Yeah, I mean I've had to stop having monsters. So. <laughs> So yeah. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you put like two scoops of it in a shaker with a monster and then like mix it up? Because I'd probably be like biting through a barbell or something, and I'd be like smacking, I'd be like, I'd be like smacking like my granddad out face or something. I'll, 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 I'll be, I'll be, is it his daddy my grandma when she asked me to do something? And I'll be like, I don't know, swinging from trees or something. I don't know. You'll, you'll be laid there in bed seeing your heart pop out your chest. I'll be trying to I'll be, I'll be trying to deadlift my bed while in the bed or something. I don't know. I'll be I'll be I'll be I'll be off, I'll be off my tits. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I've just been sticking to where uh, I just use like I don't really use pre workout anymore. The only thing I use is creatine. That's it. Yeah. I, yeah. I just have that either before or mid workout, and that's it. And water. Can't, I can't do energy. The only time I have energy drinks is when I'm drinking like vodka, Red Bulls, and like that's it. I don't do energy drinks anymore. They just don't. They don't do anything for me. I need to. I need to cut down the caffeine because I need to get my caffeine tolerance back. Because I think like I'm really like it's come to a point where I've got a high caffeine tolerance, where I'm having I'm having coffees and teas and I'm getting tired, so it's not great. It's need to slow down. You're I do. I need that, that time where you were doing three monsters a day. And ah, oh, fuck that. I would. I would. As I've mentioned in a previous video. I would not recommend that. So, um, um, no, no, I would recommend that. We can we can talk about like um, guests. Um, I know we were. I said before we were going to have some guests on, and we, that is still the plan, and that is still the uh, the idea. But obviously, COVID's got in the way. The hmm? No, um, COVID, something to do with COVID happened in his family, so we've had to reschedule that. But that is going to happen in the very near future. I'm just waiting on, on a reply. He's, uh, he's, I've known him for years. He's a PT. He's a quite, he's a very, he's a quite interesting guy. I haven't seen him in years, so it's going to be an interesting conversation. So, um, he is one of the people who wears one of our t-shirts. So it'd be good to get him on board and like, okay, stop, okay. It's it'd be good, it'd be good to get him on board. I was going to, but I don't know. Chilling, you know what I mean? Not good enough. No. I'm chilling. No. I, I, I still wore it. I mean, you're wearing it, so that's enough. enough. I wear them everywhere, me. Represent. I wear them in my vlogs. That 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 that, that reminds me. I'm currently filming a vlog for like a, like a a day in the life sort of thing. Um, one second, I might just do a bit of vlogception. Oh dear. Yeah. So one sec. So I'm currently in the middle of recording the podcast. So are you gonna say hello, Waddle? Hi. Well, they got. Oh, what am I saying? Hi. They can't even hear you. My, my, my headphones are in. <laughs> so yeah, this is what a vlog thing looks like. Yeah, just wave. Okay, that's it. So yeah, um, that'll be in my um, day in the life vlog, which you probably would have seen by now. If not, go and see it. Yeah. So um, so, um, 
Yeah, here's my day in the life. <laughs> Wake up. Wake well, up. I know, I, do you know what I think you should do as a, as a video idea? What? Do a, do a day cooking for your uh, grandma and granddad. No, that, 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 that's a stolen idea. How is that, that a stolen that, idea? That's your friend's idea. I don't want to steal his content. Who? That, that deck. I don't want to steal his content. That's his. That's his own trademark Did thing. Did he say that? Oh, no. no. Facebook thing. It's Facebook yeah, thing. Yeah, that's his thing. I don't want to... I don't want to... No, he just does that for um, like evening meals. I mean, like you cook every meal in the day for him. Brews, everything. It'll be a short video because it'll ask me to stop. Yeah, well. Have, have you seen that meme? That she's already dead. Like it was something like that. <laughs> yeah, you are a bad. I mean, I was thinking. Like, thanks. I was thinking that maybe in a few weeks, when this is lifted and we can go back to like maybe six people, that we could do like a not a mukbang, but like a cheat meal. Like get like four or five people, all from the same household for legal reasons. Um, uh, <laughs> like, okay, yeah. No, a, a, cheat, a cheat meal chat. If you want to call it a mukbang, call it a mukbang. But I'm calling it a cheat meal chat. This is my own spin on it. Right. You could do it on a. Or could you? I'm gonna say you could do it on Zoom. Get us all on Zoom and what like one night or something. We all get like. Takeaway or something, just sit there. We could we, we could do the takeaway roulette thing, that'd be cool. Obviously not to the extent of like one person has to spend like a thousand pounds, but like maybe like one one person has to spend like three quid and the other person like can you get something three quid? Probably not. No. Yeah, you probably yeah, can. Just do a meal deal. Yeah, you can set one person has to spend like fiver. Oh, the other yeah, person five, ten, fifteen, twenty or something. Yeah, and like we do like a spin, and like, yeah, so that's that's a potential idea. On a cheat day, I don't eat like that every day, so just. Did you cry if you got a fiver? I actually would. If I if I if we did a video like that and like I wasted a cheat day, I'd like kick a baby or something. I don't know. Probably. For legal reasons, I wouldn't kick a baby. Just saying. You could just get four cans of Stella or something. Four cans of Stella. Get a white one of these. Get, get Abby round. Oh dear, it's all me. <laughs> so I, I've had a lot of questions in terms of like, well, some people have messaged me saying why we haven't done the Peaky Blinders watch along again. We did, we did like two episodes and binned it. The right, thing is, there were complications with it anyway because you couldn't get for some reason. I don't know why you couldn't, but you couldn't get the the actual video footage of it. Well, people more clever than me who know who know how to edit live shows while reacting, um, I couldn't get a hold of at the time because everyone has their own life, and I've had to, I had to like edit the reactions. And with the, the the reaction, the first episode, the reaction part were fine, and so was the um, the actual show. But after that, the second episode wasn't up on YouTube, so I couldn't take that footage. Therefore, I went through trying to screen record. Off Netflix, you can't do that because it's like you're burning, um, like you're burning a CD, like a copy sort of thing. You can't do it on Amazon Prime. So I think you you might is either you have to buy the DVD and screen record like that, or download you it. have to, yeah download it and screen record like that. But my laptop doesn't um, my laptop can't do that because of the the memory and stuff. So we will find a way to do it. Um, we will get to a show which you haven't seen eventually. And yeah, one so, uh, spoilers, I've watched it all now. <laughs> he 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 is up to date with Peaky Blinders now, so it was that, so good. It was so good. I told you it was. I like, I remember I smashed it out. I was doing like what were it, a season a day, I think. It wasn't like that, that. That's unhealthy. Yeah, but it's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> it's like now I'm on. I'm doing Shameless now, aren't I? I'm on Shameless. Uh, I'm on see. I'm on season five. Episode. I'm on. To, I'm up to episode. I've just finished season four today. Right. So we're back then. Um, obviously, we had some technical difficulties. It wouldn't be a PBMP podcast if there was no technical difficulties. That's what makes our oh, podcast okay. so so special. Apart from you being so special. I mean, that's rude. But yeah, and that. Anyway, 
Uh, yeah, I'll talk about. Uh, what were it? Shameless. Yeah, shame, shameless at the minute. Uh, I'm on season five. I'm going to start season five today at some point. Maybe when I get home. Uh, yeah, I've got, what is it now? I've got six six seasons left. No, seven seasons left if you include five. Uh, so that should take me to what? Beginning of next week. <laughs> so, like, I, no, a bit. They all have they all have sixteen episodes in a season, so it might take me about two weeks to get through all them. I think so. Um, but yeah, anything you're watching at the minute? I'm trying to watch like um, award-winning films I haven't seen. So yesterday I watched Inglorious Bastards. Um, that's a uh, Quentin that's, uh, Tarantino. Really yeah, it's a Tarantino film. Um, the other day I watched. Uh, what did I watch? I watched Interstellar a few weeks ago. That was sick. I still need to watch that. It's great. Um, what else did I watch? I watched. Um, that's the thing. Only, only two I can think of at the top of my head. I watched. Uh, I, I spent a long time watching Shameless, so that took a few of the gaps. Um, what else did I watch? Um, I can't remember. I watched a lot of shit with Abby. I watched Borat 1 and 2 the other day. They're great. The second one's a bit naff, but yeah, the first one's good. Two's not good. It's like he's... It, uh, uh, Calum said this to me the other day. He says that um, it's like he's doing an impression of Borat, not that he is Borat, if you know what I mean. That's what he sounds like now. Um, what did I watch? I watched Bad Boys 1 and 2 the other day. Really good. I was pissing myself. Uh, watched something with Sean Connery. Uh, I can't remember what, what it's called. I can't remember for laughing what it's called, but it was really good. It was like a uh, it was like a prisoner, um, and he comes back and like helps him like get um, what is it? Get something off. There's like some prisoners on Alcatraz, I think it is, or something like that. Is it Great Escape? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh, it, I can't remember what it's. But it's like one one word, I think the title, but it's a really good film. Um, what else have I watched? I watched a few films on Halloween. We sat and watched loads of films. Uh, Evil Dead, uh, Resident Evil, which were good. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Um, oh, what else? What else? Oh, I can't remember what the other one's called. There were quite a few though. We watched, I think we watched about seven films on the day. Um, and you know me, I don't like horror films, but I, I, they were actually quite good. I sat there and watched them. So I've been good. a... I've been missing the cinema experience, so I've been like trying to watch films at night time when it's dark and shut the curtains and watch films I haven't seen. I've rewatched Into the Spider Verse of the night. That's amazing. Um, mm. You've never seen Into the Spider Verse. That's something you need to see. It's on Netflix at the moment. Um, it's so good. It's like right, is it the animated it's, one. It's, it's yeah. It's so fucking good. It's animated. It's, it's the best superhero film. It's comic superhero comic book film. In terms, of, it's the best Spider-Man film out of all of them, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people agree, it's such a fucking good film. It's so oh, good. Oh, how can it be the best? It's won loads of awards. It's so good. It's. Oh, I watched Dark Knight the trilogy. Dark Knight trilogy. Was that the first time you've seen all three? Yeah. That's fucking I had dreadful. seen bits from. Uh, which ones were the Joker? Is that the Dark Knight? That's my favorite film, yeah. Yeah, I've seen bits. I had, I had seen bits from that. Um, like when I watched it, I, I looked back. Cause obviously, like we studied bits of it at college, like the like the beginning and stuff. Um, so I had seen bits of it that had come back. But uh, I think my favourite scenes when uh, you know when he says I'll make this pencil disappear and then goes back. Yeah. <laughs> I watched. I was pissed myself off, and it was so funny. But yeah, I mean, it was I, really good. I just think from a filmmaking standpoint, it's amazing in terms of like the shots and stuff like that. And some like ever since college, I, I can't not appreciate. Um, I don't, I, I don't know if I've done a podcast since I went, but I know when the cinemas were open a few months ago, bef uh, during lockdown, but when they like, opened it back up, I went to see Tenet. I, 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 I don't know if I told anyone on the podcast. That's pretty good. It's, uh, it's a bit like Inception. You've got to get. It's kind of a confusing film, which you left like thinking. Yeah, every, everyone that I talked to about it said they got, they really didn't grasp it at all. So that's what kind of put me off going, to be honest. The prospect is good and the idea is good. I, I enjoyed it. I think it was like a good insight to see how Robert Patterson is because obviously he's a new Batman. So it's um, it was it was good. I I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't know what else I thought. I don't think I've watched much else. Apart from that, I've been watching YouTube a lot, and then uh, that's it. A lot of snooker's been on, I've been watching that, but watch apart from that, not much else. Watch a lot of my videos, are you? I see it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I found, um, I, don't, I didn't know I had it, I had Tarantino's autobiography, so I'm going to start reading that. Um, You're going to read? Yeah, his pictures, so I can read. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to try. I don't think I have the attention span to finish it. Finish it. Exactly what I was going to say, there's no, no way you're going to, you can read, I reckon you can read about three pages a day, if that. Maybe I think like I've got some form of ADD. Like it, I, when I sit down, I always shake my legs and I can't sit still. You, like, when people watch the podcast, they always say to me like, "You do fidget you a lot." Like so I, I, I feel like it's like, I feel do I feel like I have like an like an attention deficit disorder or something because we've been through this before. When you talk or when not specifically you, when when someone talks, this is that it, it isn't me being rude. I just you drift off. Just just, go. Yeah, yeah, and, and you can see you can see your brain just go. And, that, like, that. and then you and then I'll say something and you'll 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 look at me like I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, it's rude, I, Tyron. It, rude. I can't help it. It's I, I don't I don't know why. That's why I like working out. Like I I tried putting it into words though in the podcast. Like I don't like home workouts, but I do because I prefer. I don't know how, how I can say it. Um, I most people like training with other people. They get, get vibes off, and with me. I like training with other people because you can hit PBs, but if I could, I just love training on my own in terms of like, I'm in my own head and stuff like that. So, um, it's it's like, I I don't know how to say it. I enjoy my own company. And so, like, some people don't like being alone. I enjoy being by myself, as weird as it sounds. So I, I, I'm kind of the same. I was, I've always been that way. But at the same time, it's weird. As I've got older, I don't mind being with other people. Like, if I'm at home, I prefer being on my own. But like, I can't. Like, like when I was young, like when I was still in school, people would like come around my house and stuff, and I hated it. It's like unless it were my, like my close mates, I hated it. It's like it, this is my space. Whereas if I'm out, I have to be with someone. I can't go out. Like I don't like going out on my own. I, I like social gatherings and stuff. Like I like spending time with friends, but I don't know. I find it mentally draining sometimes. Like there's times like I'm with other people, and I just want to go home. I don't like. I, I can't like people try and talk to me and I can't be asked talking back sometimes because I don't know I'm just mentally drained it's weird and like, I just rather be on my own so, now and again like I do like obviously I do like spending time with people like playing football and doing other things having drinks and stuff but even then like I just get mentally tired because I don't know I don't think my brain can like c capacitate like other people I can't like, like I don't bit, know. You're a bit like uh, you're a bit like a dog when loads of people come into the room. You get really excited. I get excited sometimes, and I get like yeah, mentally drained brain, sometimes. Your brain gets to, like all fried. Yeah, that's why I I, I was oh, please don't lock me up. I do talk to myself a little bit in terms of like I do it all the time. I do it all the time. Like bouncing ideas off myself. Like I'll try and like write sit down. Like yesterday, I don't know if it's a good idea, but I wrote a letter to myself for a year's time. To open in a year, so like I did it last night. Yeah, but right. knowing you, you lose it. It's up there. It's up there. I've, I've got it up there as a like constant motivation to like say do the things I've written down. I don't know if it's like a good idea. I thought I need to open it on the fifteenth of November, twenty twenty one, and it's just things that I want to, to have like that I hope to have where I am now, where I, what I want to have happened in a year, and then I'm going to read it next year and see if things are better, worse, or you know what I mean. So. You could send like I don't know if you can do it, but in the, I think there might be a way where you can set you know like a an automated like a timed email <laughs> to yourself or like a or like a yeah some some way of doing that that'll be quite good. There like, might be a like, like, out there where you can write, write a letter to yourself. I mean, people do it. People have like say like I've seen people like write when they're like ten write a letter to like, the twenty year old self like say where they want to be and see how it compares. And that's what I've kind of do with this. I thought. Like maybe if I like write to myself, I like if when it's written down, it's there. You like push for it more. Like I've even started writing down what I'm grateful for and stuff like that, and see if it, I don't start taking things for granted and stuff. It's just I have to do. I, I, I could say it. I do. I have. To, I've started doing a lot of like mental, like self mental tasks because my brain sometimes does get overworked and overstressed, and um, I do get a bit like I don't know like. Not panics, but like I go into like over yeah panicked and overworked, and I don't know what to do. And sometimes like I don't know how to like stop 
thinking about like things like yeah, like I must admit, there are certain situations where you, I think it, it might be a, uh, uh, ADD or whatever but you like you'll think about something and what you'll do is you'll come up with the worst scenarios to happen and then what you'll try and figure out what you can do to stop it and then you walk and then you'll just get panicked yeah that's what yeah. you do you, you overwork yourself so, so I've like I've started doing like mental testing to try and like like sometimes like I've started writing down what I'm grateful for to like not take things for granted because when I do overwork myself I do start to neglect other things and I need to start putting things first at our priority and I did that letter to myself to like push myself even more um, I've been trying to like organise myself and stuff and try and like write things down in times like schedule lists because I feel like I'm at my best when I've got a routine and I don't like not being in a routine I think that could be a form of autism I'm not sure but I think it is um, I enjoy doing the th same thing every day and some people find, might find that vanilla and boring but people don't like eating the same shit every day where I do like eating the same shit every day I like waking up knowing what I'm gonna do rather than not and I get a bit I feel like when I don't know what I'm gonna do I, I, I procrastinate because I don't know what I, what I want to do where if I, if, where if I know at 7 o'clock I'm gonna wake up or 10 o'clock I've got a lecture and at 1 o'clock I've got a run and a workout or I've got filming then that's when like things start to tick over and do where if where if I don't go on. where if I don't I feel like um, I do start to like wander off and put, push things away and like not do things that I'm meant to do I do think I've ever got a bit of ADD or undiagnosed ADD or a bit of undiagnosed autism that I do not know about so yeah, yeah. well I'm going to say like, I, it's weird when I'm like it's, when it's no when life's normal and I'm in a like not a routine and such, but like I've got something to do every day. It, it, like sometimes I'm a bit like, oh, I don't want to do this today. But like now, where I've literally like for the last couple of weeks, like the last three weeks, I've had nothing to wake up for most days. I thought like I can wake up when I want, do what I want most days. I have no. It sounds really bad. I have just nothing. I have nothing to go to bed. Like, my granddad put it best. I have nothing to go to bed for. Like I can go to sleep when it, like this morning. I went to sleep at half four this morning. I can't do that. Because, I, no, I can't. But I did it anyway because I've got nothing to do. <laughs> so, maybe just like maybe just like set yourself set yourself tasks to do. No, I have I have a uh, I saw like a uh, thing last night like a TikTok, and it said um, it, it will like challenge yourself for like the next thirty days to do this, and it will like wake up at six a.m. or like what well, I'll probably push it to seven. Uh, then make sure you have your breakfast. Yeah do this do that i have like a list of things that you should try and do through the day just little things so i'm gonna try and do that from uh yeah from like tomorrow or something i, th I think i saw it it's like no cheat days and stuff like that and it's like i, I can't do, yeah, that. I can do that i can't i physically can't like i feel like if i go for, for it might it might be habit and it might it might, I might just, it might be some of them habits that i find hard not to break but like going back to the, my mental thing i feel I feel like it's a mental release for me, this cheat day thing. Not cheat day, won't recommend a cheat day, recommend a cheat meal. I've gone into that in a previous video, so um, it's just, it's like a mental release and yeah, I think I've just like diagnosed myself with like autism on, on, on the internet, so that's great. <laughs> that's great, I think, I think everyone's on the spectrum at some, uh, in some form, even if it's mad, very mad. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like my, my my brother's got autism, so I feel like like going back through my life, I do kind of think I have got some form wrong with me. Like I don't know. I've always felt like I'm a bit different in terms of like my personality. Like I think we've been through this before. Like I'm very high and low um, in terms of like we like we poke fun at it because it is funny, but I can be like really like off my tits and like really like I just like act in a weird way and the next minute I won't be depressed but I can't be asked and I'll look I was like yeah, like, yeah. It, is, it is strange it's like like a lot of that I, I think to do with your caffeine intake um, I, I don't like, I swear you stored <laughs> the amount you used to take it's like I'll just keep this for later when he stops um, 
because like you could you, like, I'd meet you and you'd be like mm, proper moping about like I'm like what's wrong with you like you're right and you're like yeah I'm fine I'm just tired it's like shut the fuck up I'm tired <laughs> see <laughs> I don't know I'd though I... the, like, you deprive the caffeine and then you have like a monster a coffee and some, something else and you're like woo proper bouncing around everywhere yeah yeah obviously I think that's a factor but like I'm, I've been like can't be arsed while having a coffee so like, I just think it's my personality. Like I've always felt like I don't know how can I put it. Like some people are just naturally like I don't, I don't want to say cool, but like naturally calm and like yeah, good at things. Where I've always felt yeah, where I've always felt I am quite like anxiety driven in terms of not anxiety driven, but like I'm quite nervous and I'm quite awkward in some in, in some aspects. And sometimes I don't know where the line is in terms of like a joke. Sometimes I, I do. But I don't know, like I don't know how to describe it. I'm quite, f I can be full on sometimes, and I and I and I, and I know I can. And but sometimes I don't like I I've blamed the caffeine for that before, but I don't think it is. I think it's just due to me having some form of on the spectrum, and and I just think it is. And I think I've used that to my benefit in the last like year or two, because like since like turning my like like my body around, I've tried to like hone in on that mentality aspect and. Um, obviously like I'm still going through that but like I feel like I've tried that routine aspect of me thriving under a routine has benefited me in terms of like being consistent in the gym being consistent in my, my diet and me taking things to heart in terms of like if I don't go to the gym I will literally like be not I won't physically hit myself but I'll, I'll beat myself up mentally I won't, I won't, I won't pin myself to the ground and chalk slam myself. I'll just me mentally beat myself up. So it's just, yeah, I just feel like I'm kind of like always like on something. Not, not, not substances. I mean, like this is what I mean. I'm awkward. I just make myself like say things. Like, <laughs> I'm, we'll I'm, just get to shovel now. We'll start digging because you've already started the hole. So you're awkward now. Just to clarify, I've never touched any substances in my life. Um, for legal reasons, um, I've, I've, I'm not on anything. I just think I, I'm always like scatty, not scatty, scatty. Like, um... see, I would stop you talking, but it's quite entertaining at this point. I wish I could do subtitles. What I mean, I'm quite erratic. That's the, I'm quite, I'm quite erratic. Quite erratic. That's the word. At that point, when you started talking, just pause it and just put a disclaimer, and then just put what you want and start it again. Disclaimer: these, these statements are not true. <laughs> No, I'm quite. I'm not, quite. Well, some of them are. Yeah, I'm quite erratic, and I'm just. I'm, I'm speaking. I'm saying this because I think I've done a like this is me video before, but like I'm trying to delve it deeper in terms of like I think I am slightly autistic or on the ADD spectrum, and I am quite erratic. That's the one I was trying to find in terms of like I'm always needing to do something. I'm always searching for something to do, or if I don't, I'll sit in my bed, fall asleep wake up and feel depressed because I've not done something and I feel like if I'm not in that wasted room, yeah like I'll be sat I'll be sat down I think it happened on Sunday Sunday you meant to like chillax I was sat down or was it Friday I can't remember when I was like laid on my bed I was tired I was watching a video on my phone and I was like do I deserve to like do this like have a leisure time because I've done fuck all today so it's just like bits like that and it's like yeah, oh, yeah I know what you mean it's like times where like I've been at work I've done a long, I've done a long day, and then I come home like at that point, I finish anything. Yeah. I just want to sit down and just relax. And then there's other times where it's like I want to be doing something from as soon as I wake up early morning to like midnight. I want to be, I just want to be doing something all the time. It's weird. So That's I, have, it. I have been spells like where I, I'm really like motivated to do stuff for like a couple of months at a time, and then there'll be like. A couple of week where I really don't want to do anything. Yeah, I think. I think that's life. I think it it, it 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 is life, but I think like I don't know. I was gonna. What's the word? I think at night time, like that should be your downtime. And I feel like I've always said that there's nothing wrong. I've always set myself boundary hours of like, do everything you need to do during the day. Try and get your workouts done, your work done, and then by six o'clock at night time, that should be from then to bedtime. Like you're like leisure time, like you're just chilling out time. But I'm finding myself like as I'm getting older, more and more times laying in bed, and I, I just don't switch off. Like I can't. Like I'm, I'm like last night, I'm trying to get to sleep. 
I have to have some form of like podcast on in the background when I'm sleeping my own because I have to have something. I don't know. It's weird. I have to keep like listening to things and listening to things to sleep, and um, um, it's like my, my 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 brain just won't stop, and it's fucking annoying. It is it is so annoying. I can't do that last night. Like you start like what I tend to do now is I'll watch something like like I watch a shame once. Turned it off about three, or about ten past three. Put my stuff away, turned my telly off, and then sat on my phone watching TikTok. And I did that every night before I go to sleep. I watch TikToks for like sometimes it can be up to an hour, but like I try to set it to about 10 15 minutes just to like get my brain just like you know. But then I'll, I'll head hit my pillow, I'll get comfy, and then I'll start thinking about something. I'll get really uncomfy, I'll start fidgeting, and then my brain just goes again. Yeah, it's just yeah. like it doesn't happen all the time. And I just sometimes I can't stop. I get that. I mean, I've talked a lot about benefits in terms of like having this, but I've had a lot of negatives too in terms of like I feel like it's me have me being what I am and who I am. It stopped me from like achieving a lot more in terms of like I'm 22 now and I'm not getting any younger. That, that voice crack then. I'm not getting any, any younger. I might look like I'm 15, but I'm not. And I think I've done well in terms of like 19 to 22 in terms of like turning my life around where it, to where it was and I think I, I will do well in life but I feel like I could have done like a lot more earlier in terms of like I, why didn't I do YouTube when I was 16 because of anxiety money no I mean no, I, could, I, mean, I, could, no. I mean like you can do things but I feel like getting I feel like that, that getting the equipment and stuff for like the boost you needed to be honest I mean I don't even think that I didn't think so. I, I, I could have recorded on my phone. I could have done different things. I mean, even 18, I was working at 18 and I had money. It's I didn't do it then. I just think it's anxiety of people looking at you and watching you, and that's that's natural. I think I think that's most people, to be fair. But I was sat thinking about it the other day when I was filming a TikTok. I was like, should I add my voice to it? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to add my voice to it. And I'm like, that and. The, again, I was thinking no, that's. You voice is all over YouTube, so what's the point? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then again, it's like then I then I think, oh, I don't want to do this because of my voice. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to do this, and I, I, I just don't post again because I'm just like, I, I hear can't it do it. My voice, but like, I think I think when I hear it back on these, I hate it, but I still do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, I don't get because because this is your voice that what you hear on a recording is how you sound to everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. So it's no. It's, when you think about that, it's normal. Like that should that should be the one thing that never puts you off doing it. I get, I get that, but I don't know. I just find it hard. When it comes, it's different platforms. I can't do. Like I, I I can't record a story on Instagram with my voice because I don't know. I just can't I just can't get the courage to do it. But I can yeah I can film a podcast and I can post this out on the internet. It's weird. weird. I must and, admit, I do hate I do hate like recording like like I did like a video message for like uh, this guy's with it of a week. We put like a lot of messages together from all his friends and family and stuff to like send to him, and I recorded it and I just I just looked at it afterwards. I was like, Ugh. I <laughs> like I recorded it like three or four times just trying to get used to it. It just, it just wait. You forget what to say when you like recording it. It's just, it's yeah. Hard, but you should like, like I said, you should think though. If, you, if your voice is putting you off, you should just think that's how you sound to everyone. I get that. Yeah, and I do, and I and, and like I do understand that in terms of like, that is right. But what frustrates me, but I beat myself up about, is like, I see a lot of people on the internet, and I see a lot of people on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and I'm like, I don't know how to say it about being big-headed, like, I feel like there's some people, I look at them, and I'm like, I know a lot more than they do, um, I can produce a lot more better content than they do, but they've, because they've got that confidence, they can just drive it, you know what I mean? Me. Yeah, and I'm like, if I could actually just gain the confidence to like do something, I could actually create something. And that's what I tried doing with this this business. Like, I've, I just put my, 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 my anxiety aside and just do something. And obviously we're co-owners, co but I don't know. It's like, obviously I came up with it and then I wanted you to like come on board with me. And we are doing that. But me starting it was like, I just need to do something. And that's what I wanted to do. And Obviously. Yeah, well, one well, thing you know, you said about the conference, like, look at, um, you know, when we were doing the photo shoot for the business the other day, yeah, and yeah. we said about the people uh, in that building looking at us from the inside, and you said, oh, I've done, vo I've done box box at college, so I'm used to it now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you've done it. You got, you got used to it. Do something more, you'll get used to it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? We got more comfortable with these. So, like, this is. 
this is natural. I can do. I can do this now. This is like fully natural. When I'm filming with a vlog on my phone, I must do about seven, three, seven or eight takes of each thing because I don't. Because obviously I've got a stutter, but that that stutter wouldn't happen if I wasn't nervous and speak fast. And then I f and then once that happens, I spiral into like thinking about what I'm gonna say when it should be natural. It's like a three or four step process of me like having to like stop the take. There you go. You just you, you're already psyching yourself out of doing things. You just need to pick up the phone and start talking because you yeah. know what you want to say. So just yeah. say it. Yeah. I know what I want to do. I know where I want this channel to go in like a year or two. I know where I want this business to go in a year or two. But it's just sometimes having to like think about it and go, I need to do it, and it is gonna it get is done. Next time I see you, next time I see you, I might just uh, whack out my phone and just and just ask you a question and then click the call and just do it there. Have you, seen, have you seen them TikToks when like it's like simple events and they're like interviewing like it's a sports event and it's like so how did your date go? He's like yeah I crumbled on the second date. Um, ne 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 next time it'll be a three pointer. Um, but yeah, <laughs> they, they are really good. Like, that's what it should feel like. But it's just like so, so, oh, I just, uh, oh, yeah, we need to get you. We need to get you more confident. So no, I'm confident. I can, I can see when I watch you, when I watch you vlog sometimes. I do. So I can just tell like. How are you? How are you feeling by looking at you? I can just tell. But even if you're smiling, I can just tell. So again, I think, I think, my, I think my glasses are also like a comfort comfort blanket because I know I don't need them. I do. I'm not. These are not a fashion statement. I do. I am partially visioned. I, I still think you. Look, I think you look better with them on. To be honest. I disagree. I dis. Okay. Um, I, di I I disagree completely. Completely. I, I don't like wearing them. They, uh, they give me a headache all the time. Um, but I feel like m my brain. I tell my brain that I need them. But I don't. It is I don't. Because you, make, you wear them like for stuff you don't need them for. It's true. It's true. I mean, it doesn't you carry it around in your pocket until when I'm breaking. Yeah. To be honest, the, like going back to the, like the beginning, I mean, I think the gym's the only place I feel confident in. Yeah. It's just yeah, facts. I, that and football, quite comfortable. Yeah. I get. I must admit, I do get like. I, I am comfortable at the gym, but like the. Uh, yeah, we did legs on that last session. I was on. Um, I was getting plates off the uh, the machine next to the leg press, like the you know the, the one where you put your shoulders underneath. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. Um, and like a, a girl come up to me and was like, "Oh, you're using this." I was like, "No, I'm just getting the plates off." And I, 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 that's what I wanted to say. And I said, "I went, I went, no, no, I just." Uh, and then just took the plates and just said, "You can use it." And then she ended up walking off and not even using it. I was just like, "Oh." Like, I got rid of, like it's just stuff like that. And then when people ask me stuff, and I'm sometimes I'm a bit like nervous to go up to people and ask them for stuff do you know what i mean yeah yeah um but yeah it's just a bit like, like there were a trainer doing like a session with someone next to the um where the bars are near the squat racks and stuff and i, I just i went to like uh grab something uh because it it was they're all there apart from one of them and i grabbed what i grabbed one of them and they said oh no we're using that and i was like all right okay i said we've well, been doing like five minutes I said yeah yeah i'll shout you yeah. never shout at me I'll like, oh, <laughs> And it's yeah, just like, it's really awkward, like, I don't know what to do, it's like when you're hogging the entire section, I don't know what you're using. There is some, pl there are some times that people in the gym who do make you feel uncomfortable, but I've just learned to block it out and just do my own thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's when you catch just, someone staring, I fucking hate that, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> like this time, so I'm, saying, I'm quite, I'm a big bloke, but like, there's a point like, I'll, because I don't like, it's weird, right, so basically, I don't like, I want to say, I was saying what was, you know when you like, I like standing up, curling and stuff, and do it like when I do biceps, especially I like standing up. But I don't like I like being near the mirrors, so I don't like taking over a bench. Cause, so I stand just behind, and then someone will come up to me and say, and like say, are you using that bench? Say no, and then I get forced to move. So I have to move all the way back to like you know where the kettlebells are and stuff. Yeah. Or around there, I stand there and I'm looking in the mirror. And then someone will like be in front of me. They'll stand up and they'll look over the shoulder and just make eye contact with me and stare at me while I'm curling. It's like, what's the point? Why are you staring? <laughs> it's like just stop staring at me. Cause you're making me feel awkward and putting me off. And I literally I will cut my session short if someone's doing that. And I will go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I I'm not I'm not phased by me. I'm just like, people are in there to do the same thing. Let them stare at you. Do what they want. Like I, don't, I, I like I, I don't, I'm not too fussed to be honest. But um, yeah, I just concentrate on my own thing but yeah oh I forgot oh, I, I've been watching Mandalorian that's what I've been thinking about I watched Mandalorian oh, uh, season 2 is on now isn't it yeah I've been watching it week by week um, yeah, that's I watch, that was like a YouTube channel that just like does like route the highlights of it so I just watch it on there 
obviously there's been the PlayStation and Xbox releases. Are you going to be purchasing one? No. I'm getting the PS5 probably in January or February, but because I want to play the new Spider-Man game. Yeah. You see, I, like, I would, I would get a, like, because I've obviously got an Xbox. I would get a, I would get a PS5, but I can't really afford both. And the only reason I want a PS, the only reason I want a PS5 is because a lot of a lot of people I know are on PlayStation. Yeah. So I, I just I don't like the. Although the only the only thing that would make me switch is the fact that they changed the controller. Like it's a lot more like an Xbox controller now, so I can actually I could probably use it. But I don't know. I won't be getting I won't get the new Xbox. Definitely not. Not a chance. No. I mean. I do want the PS5, but the prices are like incredibly like expensive. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean they might be different after New Year. Might be a little bit less after Christmas, but um, yeah, they'll, go down. they'll definitely go down. We'll we'll wait and see. I obviously the T-shirts are out now. I mean, I've plugged them a lot. Would you like? Would you like to plug them again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. In fact, I, I don't actually know what the, the website is off the top It's of mercenaryathletics.co.uk. You'll find it in the um, Instagram bio. I'll put it in the description of this video. Um, they are live. They went live last Monday. Um, yeah, um, the, 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 the support has been great in terms of like, the, the launch. Um, yeah, just cop yourself one. Um, we've, had, I've had, we've had some good reviews off them. Um, a, a, we sent one to a person in America. I don't want to reveal his name. Keep him private for the time being. He will be on the podcast in the in the future. Um, loves it. Um, a lot of people who go to the gym, he's got one. Loved it. The, the fit is very athletic, performance based. Um, that was the idea behind the release. I wanted it to be, I wanted it to be casual as, as well as um, sport wear, something you could wear. To walk about in something you could wear to the gym, M multi-purpose. Um, I wanted the first product to be unisex, so I didn't want any gender or any one to feel left out in terms of, like I can't buy that when you can. So yeah, go and purchase one. They're on the web. Go on. Go on. I'm gonna say, I, like me as a, as a bigger guy, like I, I wear the double XL. It's for me, it's like the perfect. Like I didn't realize how perfect it would be in terms of like. I, I like the sleeve length is good for me. Like, I, you know, I don't like the longer. Like, if they have to be far bigger sizes, normally the sleeves are like down here, whereas these ones are like halfway up and above. Um, it's the length I want as well, and um, it is like, obviously it's a bit tight, tight of fitting, but it's not too tight where it looks stupid. You know what I mean? Like, it is a really good fit. I do, I do like it. Like, like I, I, did, I bought two didn't I? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Um, again. Um, this is uh, the only product we have on the website at the time being. Uh, we will, there will be more products coming out um, as time passes. Uh, there's a lot of ideas going around, brainstorming, and there will be more products coming out maybe beginning of next year, mid next year. We'll see. We'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, um, it's going to be a long, 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 long journey. But it is what it is. And maybe in a year's time, two years' time, big things, big things, big, big things. things. Yeah. Um, last segment of the podcast before we do end this terror is um, what do you fear the most? What do I fear the most? Yeah, can be can be an object, can be an animal, can be anything, can be anything. Oh no! What's your biggest fear? And what's your yeah your biggest fear? And. Oh, oh! I'm trying to word it. Your biggest fear in terms of like an object, and your biggest fear generally. Do you know what I mean? Right, like it's a weird one because like there's there's two, but one of them is not really a fear. Well, but spiders is my main one because I just I just hate I, ugh, I can't do them. But I've got a lot better with them. Like I can cope with them a lot better now. Yeah. Whereas yeah. if they were in a room previously, I would run and scream. Um, another one weirdly high. Like, I don't mind heights, but it's more the ones where, you know, like, people on a cliff edge and stuff. Yeah. Like, you know, like, where you see people, like, do, running along them beams and stuff on skyscrapers and stuff. Like, like, I can actually go in a plane, helicopter, you know, stuff like that. I can do... I can probably jump out into a into sea and stuff, but I can't... 
I don't know, there's just that certain fear of heights a little bit in certain situations. I'd say not being, like, in general, like, not being able to support myself, like, financially would be a, you know, like, being in the proper, being in the shit, like, not being able to afford, afford food would be my uh, my biggest fear, like, in, like, that situation. What about you? Um, in terms of, like, animal, I fucking hate snakes. Um, not, yeah. not, not the people, just I hate the animal. Everything about it, it makes me it makes my skin crawl. I had a nightmare the other night about a snake. I cannot, I honestly, I cannot fathom. I once had a snake around my neck. As a, yeah, but my worst fear is maybe being in bed and a snake come. Oh no, I, I can't, I can't, I like, I can't look at a snake. I can't watch a video of a snake. I can't do it. They make my skin crawl. Skin crawl. Uh, to be fair, to be fair. <laughs> as a kid, I had a snake around my neck. I don't know how I did that, but I did. But my biggest fear, get on my voice. My biggest fear is probably being not being a success in life. Um, in every, every aspect, aspect. Do you mean, I mean. Do you mean not being a success in your eyes? Wow. Yeah, not being good enough in terms of like, um, it will be in my eyes because people, my family will be proud of me no matter what. But in terms of what I consider to be a success, I don't want to depends on anyone. I want to be completely independent. I want to run a, a successful business. I want to I want to be a success in life. I don't want to be just anyone working for someone. I want to, I want to be better than that. And if uh, to fair probably my, my worst fear is probably not doing what I dream about and not acting upon it and not, and not so, like, so just slacking just, up. Like just, doing a, just doing a job like just cuz it's a job. There's nothing more I, I can probably. I've done a lot. I've done a few jobs in my in my short life so far, and there's nothing more less I'd want to do than is, is than work for someone else. I'd rather set me on hours, do my own stuff, and just have fun. I'll do something I want, I love, rather than go to work and hate it and look at the clock all day and want it to run down. So yeah, my my, my biggest fear is not being good enough and not being a success in life. And obviously, in terms of like an object or generally. It probably is snakes. I hate them, in with every sense of the word. I hate snakes. Um, if I could, I'd make them extinct. I hate every single ones. I can deal with spiders. I can deal with spiders because spiders are afraid, more afraid of you than you are of them. But snakes are killing machines. I can't. I can't so deal, with like, deal with it. Like, you know, like a David Dobrik style thing where like I put a snake in, like an anaconda on your bed, put ready for you to come on. I'd probably, honestly, I'd probably genuinely break down in tears i wouldn't know what to do i'd, I'd, I'd run out i can't I did not generally there's nothing more i can probably think worse than a, seeing a snake in front of me i can't oh I can't, I can't i can't fathom it like just a feeling of probably them around your neck and like oh my god it makes me it's making me shiver honestly it's generally disgusting like the, the thing that like it's just it's like feeling the scales and... oh no i can't I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I could not go to anywhere where the snake is present. It makes me absolutely sick. Good to know. I'll bear that in mind. Please don't break in mind. Um, so, yeah, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed the podcast. It's uh, just been a chilled one today. Uh, with, in conclusion, I'm on the spectrum, and Waddle hates spiders. I think that's a fair conclusion. That's fair kind of today. Well, yeah, we've talked so much shit. I don't remember the rest of it. So, um, yeah. So please like the video, share it if you're new, um, comment what you liked about it, comment what your worst fear is, please, to make us feel less like idiots. Yeah. Again, I don't know if I said subscribe, but yeah, subscribe. Um, link will be in the, in the description for the t-shirts. Um, please show us some support. You don't have to buy one. It'd be great if you did. But follow the Instagram page. Um, have a look on the website. Tell us what you think. So yeah, big things coming. Um, we'll keep pumping out the content if when we can. Um, the, the, the vlog, which I'm filming today, should already be out now. And this will be out the Saturday. Why am I telling you? It's already out. Um, so... Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in a bit. See you later. Summertime, California sunset on my mind. Feeling so high for my state of mind. It's a paradise, I'm lost in a skyline, skyline.